And if there are no objections from the board, I'd like to move forward with that. If you've done your uh, interviews and you're, and you're ready to move forward, any, any objections to that? Uh, question, Mr. President. Question. Uh, I, I don't know if we want to try to have a confirmation here and just do it in the manner that supervisor of the is staying. Uh, and I wouldn't want to ask these questions out public. I did look at the, uh, the bios and and I know it's personnel, and maybe one day we can go to the closed sessions if we don't do it today. But uh, the concern I have, and, and uh, uh, Mr. President, I, I don't know, should we speak them out? out uh, how? Well, it depends upon what concern you have. Uh, if it's something relating to personnel and uh, it's of a confidential nature, uh, if it's not related to the uh, motion, then we should go into an executive session if it's something that you feel that uh, should not be spoken out. Well, it, it, I guess it could be, but, but it just, when you start asking these questions and, and the readers can pick up on them, and they somewhat can become embarrassing. Uh, it's not anything where somebody's a criminal or something like that, but it's dealing with, with other kind of issues. Uh, what do we do it? What do we do it? Today, I would hope we'll hold it, and do we want to, may I suggest a confirmation here? Uh, I don't know, we, we only got three people. Well, the processing board, in the past, has been the individual board members interview the candidates, and then we come back to the next meeting and vote. We've never really had a confirmation here as such. Well, and, and I guess in the sense that I'm thinking of it as when you see the that's in Congress. Well, that's why, that's why I think uh, we only had three names, and, and none of them, if, if the uh, personnel director will make those people available to us to talk with, that's fine. Uh, I just went by looking at the bios on, on each one and examining the bios, some things kind of stuck out uh, to me. But uh, I wouldn't mind talking to them one on one, and I'd ask those questions uh, directly. <coughs> and I would hope uh, that the uh, personnel department would also. Give us a list of all the people. How, how many apply? We don't know. We got the top three. Six. <coughs> six apply, and I think the top three candidates. Okay, and we probably need you to tell us what's the criteria used to determine who the top three were. Well, uh, can you come to the uh, podium? Mr. President. Yes. Um, just by way of memory, I recall the last time the board chose an ELC director. You actually went to executive session and asked those candidates questions, and then you came out and voted. And I know Mr. Stokes was here. Okay. The we had six applicants to apply for the position, and what I did was went down, looked at experience, um, education, those type things to choose the top three. Once I chose the top three candidates, then those candidates was presented to you for an interview. And, and let me add, those they were screened by the minimum qualifications. So they must have met the minimum qualifications in order to be within the top ten. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Bishop. Uh, your your comments, your motions, what you want to do. I'm hearing no objection from anyone else on the board. I will move that uh, we appoint uh, Joey Perkins to the board. Second. Uh, Second. 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 I'll second it. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor? Discussion. With discussion. Uh, Master George, come to the mic. Uh, in dealing with education, uh, give me your highest level of education. Uh, high school. One semester of college. Right. Which college? Heinz Community College. Right. EMT basic. It's a technical certificate. Okay. Which high school? Uh, graduated from the Education Center in Jackson. Okay. What's the Education Center? Uh, it's a private school in Jackson. Where? On Old Cannon Road. Do you get a diploma? Yes, sir. I have a high school diploma. Yes, sir. The education, sir. I, I never heard of it. Now, I know personnel 
have checked and everything. I, I never heard of the education center. Now, personnel, maybe you have. Now, I know you checked these things. I'm talking about. I can provide it to you. Well, no, she, the lunch counter said where it's located, but, you know, those are some of the glaring things that stand out when you, when you look at everybody about, you know, uh, if, if we're going to just take basic uh, high school diploma, uh, we you got other issues, and then the school that you recommended that, that you're coming from, and, and even though you said it's accredited, but, you know, Mr. President, these are the questions that come to mind for this position. This is one of the top positions in Hines County. And uh, no college, uh, I'm an EME, uh, EMT, uh, no high school that people really, you know, heard of, and those kind of things. I'm not saying anything against because he's a fine young man. I enjoy meeting him and everything else. But it's got to be some kind of standards in this county. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, Mr. Perkins, would you please? Uh, Mr. President, perhaps you should open it up to more information. Okay, um, let's, um, before we go, if you just stand by the microphone one second and give us a list of your, uh, some of the uh, qualifications that you have listed, uh, things that you've done. I've worked for the county since uh, 2001, started with the Sheriff's Office under uh, Sheriff McMillan. I was a dispatcher for several years. Uh, went to the Law Enforcement Officers Training Academy in Pearl, worked in the Patrol Division, uh, several other things. Left in 2006, transferred to Emergency Management as an Emergency Management Specialist. In um, 2010, was promoted to the Assistant Director uh, and have held that position ever since. Uh, got experience in the Fire Service. Merchant Medical Services, Merchant Management Law Enforcement. What about your certifications that, that, that you hold? I'm a certified law enforcement officer. I hold numerous fire service certifications. Can you give me some of those certifications? Uh, certified volunteer firefighter level one and two, uh, fire instructor one and two, fire inspector one and two, fire investigator. Um, Certified Mississippi Certified Emergency Manager, um, Certified Fire Officer. Okay. What else is that? Basically, I know mean, you have, on the uh, application that I looked at, I saw for 40 or 50 certifications that you hold. I've, I've had a lot of training classes, and a lot of those are certification courses. Like I said, I just named a few. Okay. But over the years, I have accumulated, you know, a lot of training. Okay. All right. Um, Ms. Callan, you have a comment? Um, I've looked at the qualifications of all three applicants. And to me, uh, I, I would rather that you list all of the applicants' names and make them go over in that manner. But looking at all of the applicants, the one to me, that appeared to be the most qualified um, has, has a degree from Russ College, BS in Biology uh, from Jackson State, a Master's of Science degree in Hazardous Material uh, from the American Military University, a, a Master's in uh, emergency management numbers certifications. Uh, he has a, a, a national uh, his NIMS from the Mississippi Office of Homeland Services DHS with FEMA certified DHS with DHS. Uh, I guess the Department of Homeland uh, Security. Uh, he has. Uh, uh, qualification as far as monitoring water treatment processes as you work with the city of Jackson, tested uh, water impurities, etc. 
accept now this candidate not not in disrespect to you mr perkins because you are an employee of Hans county and, and you do have uh, experience in working with eoc but i, I agree with uh supervisor stubbs that in this day age and time we're going to need individuals that can help us meet the changing times all of this new technology that is being presented to us and all of the complex issues dealing with uh, emergencies uh, and managing the department. I also interviewed um, each candidate very, uh, it, well, I had just to say an extensive interview with all of the candidates. And one of the things that I look for when I ask, what, what would be your top priorities when it comes to um, directing the activities of the emergency operations center? And two of the things that I look for the individual to discuss, one was, training and managing the people and, and utilizing those employees as being the most important or recognizing that the employees of that department would be the, the, the most important resources, that's the employees. <coughs> Number two, I looked at whether or not the individual stated I, I will operate that department in the most efficient and cost-effective manner that I could or can. Recognizing that I have a budget to work with, etc. So I, I look for those two things to come from the, the applicant. And the young man that I have reference to just stood out above all of the other two applicants. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Bishop still has a motion and a second on the floor. Um, so we'll just proceed with the motion on the floor. And um, any additional questions or statements or comments? Okay. All right. I, I, I wish you would go back and you just list all of the Okay, that will be left to Mr. Fisher since he made the motion. Rather than vote against somebody, you know, like I think, that I fine. Vote I think that's the direction the board wants to take. I think that's fine with me. Home totals should turn out the same either way, brother. It probably will, but, but I think we should just go ahead and vote on all of it. Okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Chairman. I'm ready to vote. We're going to vote. Uh, I would hope that. Uh, that we are holding this. <coughs> and I, I don't think that Mr. Perkins is doing a, a bad job. And I don't think anybody thinks that. But I think we are, the issues that's in front of us, uh, let's leave it there. You know, if you roll somebody else in other than him, and, you know, then changes must might take place there. I, I don't know why we moved it so quickly. When he's doing okay, give him time. Maybe he wants to get in school. You know, it might not be too late to get in school and other things to help moving forward. But it's going to be difficult, uh, as Ms. Calhoun is saying, to turn out somebody with a master's degree versus somebody with a high school diploma. That, that's what I think. That one vote, that's vote, but that's, that's not what I'm saying. Leave him there and let, let, let him stay as active. There's nothing wrong with being active. So what's the question you're suggesting is the process that we start with? One end of the table, the other just say name and go down? Um, that's, that's fine with me. I mean, uh, I think that what we'll do is uh, if, uh, let, let me just do this real quick uh, to make sure that we know uh, exactly which word we're going to go from here as a process. Uh, Mr. Stokes wants to, uh, to you have not had the opportunity to talk to anyone. I, I have I read the resumes uh, and you know and I try to make myself but just a suggestion I would like to do, Mr. 
Mr. President, and I don't think it's too late. I, I think you got somebody that people feel good about, but you're going to have to 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 up his, his number one his education. And you know, not it's not wrong with just being a high school graduate. I'm not criticizing. I don't want nobody to think we are. Everybody, you know, for some of you may be there, but I'm saying we can get him in, in high junior college and, and the kind of youth to pay for. Let's get him. Let's get him in college and start working with him in that manner. Versus you putting him, you comparing him now to people with master's degrees. And if somebody, I'm not saying lawsuits like that would happen, but most people are gonna say if you had people with a high school diploma versus people with master's degrees, then where's the fairness? You know, education has always been the threshold that people judge things by. He's a good person. He's doing a good job. Let's keep him as acting. Let's get him in college and let him work up. That's all I'm saying. And I don't think it's bad, but if we had to make a decision today, you know, people are going to question if you have, how are you going to have somebody with high school diploma versus somebody with college education? Okay. Um, Mr. Fisher says you made the motion, uh, you know, uh, what do you want to put here this year? Yeah, I sent out an email a couple of weeks ago asking everybody to do the interviews. Apparently, four of us have. This style's been vacant for weeks. The opportunity to do the interviews has been there with the initiative of the individuals to, to, to go out and do it themselves. Uh, you know, I think we need to, to go ahead and, and move forward with this and, and take the department out of limbo. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's a good thing we're able to promote from within. And it tells people that are working for the county now that if you work hard and you strive hard, you can be promoted to the top. Versus work hard, do the best you can, and then later on we're going to bring somebody else who's never worked with the county before, or someone who's worked in another department with the county before, or somebody from another city in that in that uh, in that uh, uh, realm of expertise to come in and, and, and run the show. So I'm for, I'm moving ahead right now and voting. I've done my due diligence. Okay. Mr. President, uh, Mr. Fisher, would you have mentioned your motion to list all of the candidates and all of the applicants? I'm fine with that. Okay. No problem at all. Just to list all three. Okay. Mr. Uh, Parker, do you have the so, list of all three? So how do you? Uh, the, the question is, how do you vote? Just to start one end and go down and vote with the same name? Is that what you want to do? Well, yeah. you know, first of all, we, what we have to do is establish that that's what we want to do. So we need to have three members of the board to determine if that's what we want to do. Uh, if no other motion, then what we'll do is we have to dispose of the motion that's on the floor. Uh, since we I'm second on the motion, but she said let's uh, list them all. But again, I'm second it with the position that if you're going to talk to the most qualified person, then your education I heard him. And I hear what Supervisor Fisher is saying, but he's a military man, and everybody here understands that you don't promote from the bottom, you promote from the top. And our education got to be the drawing line of anything. Now, we're telling young people don't go to college and that we're going to give you a job versus people who stand in school, then something is backwards with us. Okay, what we'll do is we'll um, hold this item until Ms. Parker gets the names and then we'll come back to this particular item and then We'll list the names and then we'll go ahead and vote uh, from that particular uh, point. If that's okay, we'll see more of your questions. Can you join the motion? Yeah, I will draw the motion and we'll start again. I'll draw second until we uh, get started. So now we'll, it's not the hold up and we'll won't be the rest of the day. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we'll go to the county administrator, uh, Mr. Fisher. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.